something uh, a little bit different uh, in terms of knowing it's going to be the last one, but how that felt going in and how they performed. Uh, I mean, it's just been it's been a really interesting season for us. Uh, you know, we've we've been competitive in basically every match, every set that we've played. Um, just haven't really found the way to win yet, and there's probably a lot of reasons for that. Um, uh, but it's definitely not for lack of leadership. And Ronica and Willow have definitely provided that for us, and they've obviously made their mark on the program. Willow has surpassed a thousand kills with uh, tonight. Ronica's already done that. Ronica became the all-time hitting percentage leader in the program's history. That's amazing, uh, and is already the block assist leader. I mean, so from a volleyball standpoint, they've done, you know, they're two of the all-time best in our program's history, uh, which, which is incredible. But just the women that they've become, um, just listening to them, if you can remember four years ago, it's just, com it's just completely different. <laughs> I mean, shockingly different, you know, shockingly different. Uh, and so, you know, it's just, it's just amazing, like a proud papa, you know, just watching, watching your kids grow up. Um, and so it's just, that's really cool. And then just to see how much their teammates love them and, uh, care for them and admire them and uh, just the role models that they've become for them and so many young girls in the audience um, You know the line for autographs is huge and they just really want Ronica and Willow's autograph And that's just a really powerful thing um, And and they've worn that really well and we have we have some amazing female role models at the school um, as athletes and as administrators and so they're just surrounded by um, by great examples and there are two more of them um, you know so for us uh, you, you know I'm I'm just really proud of them in the season that they've had, and uh, they fought through everything. And obviously, it was disappointing for us to not keep playing. Um, we've definitely had our chances; it was our own doing. Um, but but I don't think they could have done any more. And our young kids are really learning, and I, I think they're learning what it means to be a duck and be a Sunath. Besides those two, your whole team's coming back. Next Yeah, I mean, again, you know, they mentioned Carson. Like, Carson is just really becoming a stud, um, which, which uh, so many of them, the, the potential is just huge. It's just a matter of, you know, when are things going to click? And um, generally, it's not, it's not physical with this group. It's really, it's emotional, you know, being able to handle uh, pressure, being able to handle spotlight, having thousands of people watching you, um, having expectations, you know, all those things. I think that's kind of been the bigger thing for this younger group. Um, which is exactly what Ronica Willow dealt with when they were freshmen. Uh, but just because there's so many of them, um, they, they can't hide so much. They have to perform. Like, we really needed Carson to go 11 0 19 tonight and have seven blocks. Like, we needed that. If we don't beat USC last week, and if Carson doesn't make the big kill and the big block to end it. Um, so I think they, they've had to perform. They've had to step up. Um, so I think it's been really cool to see that. It was fun watching Taylor Williams really grow. It's been, last couple of weeks, I think something clicked with her. Um, and she's, she's growing up really fast. Um, which is cool because we've just been really on her, trying to get her to understand things and resistant, resistant, and then all of a sudden something gave, something clicked somewhere, and now you just see kind of a completely different kid, um, you know, growing up and, and taking on a role um, that, that's important for us. She had some great kills tonight, really important blocking against their really nice hitter, Haley Bennett, uh, and then had great service runs. I mean, she hasn't ser served all season. She goes back there and has some great runs to give us the lead um, and really wind the gap in the fourth set and played some good defense. and. So all those things are really good. Morgan Lewis has been great. The last three matches have been amazing for us, um, or the last two matches has been amazing for us. And um, wasn't her best offensively tonight, but did a lot of other nice things. And the setters are both freshmen. And Georgia's the libero, um, kind of played with one arm all season. It's been incredible. Burke Nunnaville does everything. Um, you know, and so she, she's so special. She's three digs away from 1,000 already as a sophomore. Um, you know, and, and made some big kills for us and some nice blocks tonight. And then you know, getting Taylor Borup back, I think, um, is something that's going to happen, and I think she's going to be a big-time player for us. Um, again, we were so close all year. I, I just just having her, or just having um, Alex Leita as another defensive presence, just one of those things would have made a really big difference for us. So things sometimes don't go your way. Uh, I told this team uh, earlier uh, before the match. I just said, you know, we we had a we had a nice run last year, and that felt really good. Um, but I really think we can grow so much if we're able to get through this and learn from the disappointments of this and just how hard we're going to have to work and how much we're going to have to grow. Um, and you can remember this. Remember the feeling of going through what we went through this year and how hard it was to, to win a game. Um, you know, kind of starting over with this group. Um, and so for them, really getting them to grow and buy into that and a, a lot of nodding heads really starting to understand that. Um, so I hope that that really catapults us and our work ethic and, you know, what we're going to fight for to be Ducks um, over the next few years.
Yeah, so I mean, generally with most teams you play, there's like a weak rotation that they have or we have. And so sometimes it just comes down to who can score the most in some of those weaker rotations, who can take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, they had some weaker rotations just because of injuries and, and health issues. Um, so maybe they weren't didn't have their best and kind of same for us. Um, so I think it was really important that we had good servers going back in those rotations and we were able to get runs. And that just kind of made the difference um, because the better rotations, we, we were kind of neutral. Um, so, yeah, I get, again, Taylor Williams was one of the ones that went back there. Willow went back there and served, um, keeping Kylie in the front row. I thought uh, we, you know, Willow did a really nice job. So um, a few different people went back there and got us some, some separation that we really needed.